Information Systems Development Mission Directorate, Lisa Watson Morgan. But first, I'll hand it over to Administrator Nelson. I hope that you share that honor today, and I look forward to you sharing that responsibility in the future. With that, let me turn it back over. Here in the graphic, because this is now a sustainable lander, uh, the appendix. And so today, we, NASA, announced that Blue Origin and partners Lockheed Martin, Draper, Boeing, Astrobotic, and Honeybee Robotics will build a human landing system to deliver NASA astronauts to the lunar surface. For the Artemis V mission, NASA's SLS rocket will launch four astronauts to lunar orbit aboard Orion. They'll transfer to the gateway before entering Blue Origin's Blue Moon lander for about a week-long trip to the South Pole. And there they will conduct science and exploration activities. Our public-private partnerships, it's the new way that we go to the moon. It helps NASA share the risk, the technical risk, and the financial risk, the cost, to enable, at the end of the day, mission success. Second lander will have those sustainable uh, lander requirements to allow our crews eventually to stay up to 30 days as we build up the infrastructure, um, which is all based on our moon to Mars objectives long term. Our objectives we're trying to uh, prove out at the moon to go on to Mars and around. I'll say that Blue Origin, our endeavors to make human permanence on the moon is uh, been part of our core beliefs for some time. So. We want to establish permanence on the moon, and we want to ensure that we have uh, consistent access to the moon. So with that in mind, uh, Blue Origin itself is contributing uh, over 50% of uh, the total effort to get to uh, not only this mission, but to ensure permanence. 